Oshio and here we are uh, again for another reading of the word and uh, I want to uh, they were well today I'm reading in the uh, New King James and uh, anyway this passage here and let me get this see if I can get this glare out there help a little bit I don't have a lot, but some. <laughs> okay. And it's really hard to see with not much light. Let me try to overhead. There we go. Oh, it's not helping there, is it? <laughs> okay. This is in Luke chapter 12, verse 22. And this goes through 22 through 28. Then he said to his disciples, Therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, nor about the body, what you will put on. Life is more than food, and the body is more than clothing. Consider the ravens, for they need neither sow nor reap, which have neither storehouse nor barn, and God feeds them. Of how much more value are you than the birds? And which of you, by worrying, can add one cubit to his stature? If you then are not able to do the least, why are you anxious for the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. And yet I say to you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. If then God so closes the grass which today is in the field and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O you of little faith? Let us bow our heads. think about how much that we worry over the many things you know we worry over food you know whether we have enough food if we are not going to have food for tomorrow and different things we worry and uh, we worry we find ourselves at times uh, different ones of us uh, depending on situations and things we we worry about the roof over our heads we worry and then we also said there worry about our clothes you know what are we going to be wearing what do we have or, or you know am I still going to have clothes or what you know we worry the funny thing is you know as people like with clothes though with some today in this world their 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 idea of worrying for clothes is about whether they're going to have uh, some the the next latest fad before the ones that they have goes out of style. Even though they still got good clothes, they want to uh, get more and more and more and more, and then they'll throw away the ones they got still good, and they keep on and on and on. It's it's a competition kind of a thing. That's what fads are. It's, it's basically a competition with the whole world. <laughs> Each person's in competition with the the uh, the next class of people, so to speak. Then you know you got you know you all know, then there's worrying of, of all the food you know and and half people waste what they got. Same with the clothes. It goes with the food. And they sit there and worry about sicknesses and diseases. I mean, you worry, 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 worry. And 
and someone might say, well, you know, I'm just human. Yes, we, we are all human. But if we keep holding on using that little excuse, we catch ourselves, if we keep saying that, we start believing it. And then when we start doing that, we want to excuse every sin that we commit. Uh, which coveting. How many have been guilty of coveting? Huh? Yeah? Any, any one of you, yeah? If you say you haven't, you're a liar. And, and there is no truth in a liar. The thing is, you have to get rid of it. And you and really a person of their own of their own strength and will, they cannot. Okay? They can't. No matter what it is. It, it takes the Lord's help, his strength, to lean on him. And Jesus said, which of you, by worrying, can add one cubit to his stature? How can you change anything by your worrying? You can't. I can't. You ever stayed up at night worrying about bills and different things and what have you? You worry, worry, worry. You have to learn to... And I'm saying learn because there, I can tell, I can't, if I just said to you, just lay it aside, well, that's not going to be easy for you, but you have to, but learn to lean on Him, okay? Let me let tell you a little story because time is getting short here, and this is a true story. Me and my, and I've mentioned this before, me and my brother had went on a walk for Jesus and we was out, see, God took care of our needs. We didn't have no money. We didn't worry about what we was going to wear or where we was going to stay or we was going to have a roof over our heads. Uh, we didn't have to because God provided. Because why? We looked to Him. And we gave Him praise for everything, even when it seemed like it was going bad. I, had, I remember I hurt my leg. I mean, I wasn't in good shape, you know, even then. I mean, worse now, but <laughs> physically, but uh, but I wasn't in good shape then, and I started getting cramping up and things, and my legs would lock up literally, and uh, it, it was pretty bad. And but God always provided. He, in, when I couldn't do anything, He provided somebody to come along, pick us up, take our wagon with our stuff and everything, and just carry us down the road uh, and drop us off over uh, where we could uh, stay for a little bit to recuperate. But, but God always provided for us. And, and the thing is, if you learn, I mean, when we didn't have nothing, we was in a place where no person was. God sent somebody to us. <laughs> That's right. And I'm not telling you no fib. You know, I'm telling you the truth. God will see to your needs if you trust Him. You have to put Him first in all things. And sometimes we get wrapped up in different things. But now on this reading, and it seems like I've been fruitlessly, and I'm saying seemingly, that I'm, I'm talking to nobody. But what I'm asking and what I'm doing is not for my benefit, okay? It, it's for everyone's benefit. And I'm asking that you share with me, share with others, on these passages, your thoughts, insights that God may give you in order to help somebody to build them up. It's about building others up and thinking of others besides ourselves. Yes, we should be concerned for our needs, but we should consider others' needs before our own. But, hey, I'm, I'm looking forward to for you to please, I'm, I'm begging you, brothers and sisters in Christ, please, let us, let us share, okay? Uh, there's comments, video response, anything there, just to, so that we could be able to build each other up in Christ, in Yeshua. So until then, my friends, let me say thank you for listening and dropping in, and let me say shalom, walk in His light, and walk in His love. Oh.